Interspace Cavern in Georgetown is a true Texas treasure. Aspiring spelunkers have been flocking to the site for 53 years now. Judging by the nearly 1,000 daily visitors, it's still as popular as ever. So we decided to take a trip underground at Interspace Cavern for this week's Daybreak Adventure. They just come in and I can't count how many times I've heard the word, wow. <laughs> and they just come in and it's something that they remember for the rest of their lives. Those wows come from visitors of all ages, too. Oh. Interspace Cavern, just west of I-35, was actually discovered back in 1963. The Transportation Department was preparing to build the interstate and they were taking core samples. While doing this, they discovered the cave, 30 feet below ground level. We'll get back to that story in just a bit. But first, let's get to the cave itself. All of our Daybreak regulars taking part in this adventure, and we begin with the original tour. The adventure tour is our most popular one, about a half mile of a paved trail, and you go through the main section of the cave, and you see all of the biggest rooms. Just like thousands of school children, we must follow the rules. Don't touch. It's part adventure, part geology lesson on the hour-long tour. All of our formations in the cavern are made out of a mineral called calcite, and they start with rainwater. There is a stalactite and a stalagmite that are very close to touching. They're about a half inch apart from growing together and forming a column. Um, the average growth rate of all of the formations in here is about one cubic inch for every 100 years. Golly. So very, very slow. So many of these formations look just as they did when the cave was discovered in 1963. They were preparing to build the interstate, as I mentioned, and drilled down to take those core samples from the ground. And once they would break through the ceiling here, there's nothing to resist the drill bits so it would just kind of drop down. That led to a larger hole, which you can still see in the cavern. That allowed researchers to enter the cave for the very first time. And that is actually the first ever entrance into the cavern. We sent the first explorer down here through that hole right there. Now, if you want to see more of what those early explorers felt or saw, you can try the Hidden Passages Tour. It's a bit more involved. You'll need a flashlight on this one. Our crew took that one step further to don the helmet lights. Um, we didn't really need them, but we wanted to look cooler. Uh, we really didn't. Hidden passage. These are great lights. I like these lights. The lights do help the flashlights. It's darker on this tour and the trail's a bit smaller. You might run into a new friend or two. Um, this is a tricolor bat. They are, I think, the second smallest bat in North America. Now, the bats won't bother you. They can't even bite you. We ran into a few sleeping on the ceiling and the walls. The Hidden Passages tour takes about an hour and a half, and they've only been doing these tours for about five years. Now, the ultimate cave experience for the real spelunkers like myself and Leslie Adamy, that's the wild cave tour. It's just like you're exploring some cave no one's ever been into. It's a very tight squeeze in many spots. In fact, you'll probably get a little dirty here. By the way, this is the tour you would normally use that lighted helmet for. You're seeing a very, very natural um, cave and really getting into, um, you know, as nature intended. There's something for cave divers of all ages at Interspace Caverns. No matter how many times you go, there's always something new to see and discover. Did you notice any uh, future spelunkers in our group today? Oh, yeah. I think, I think we had a lot of promising prospects. Um, looking forward to... Uh, seeing them coming in, getting the full, full cave experience. Oh my gosh, look at that! I love his political answer. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, and after you get to eat fudge, they have this oh. new fudge counter right there in the gift shop. That they has, make it in oh, house, they right? Make it. Oh, it's so good, too. What a fun time that is. And as we yeah. were leaving, there were about two or three school buses full yeah. of kiddos, and you could just hear the excitement as they were ready to jump down into that cave. Too. Oh, it's so much fun, and I enjoyed, you're right, the fudge and the gift shop. There were like 10 things. I was like, oh, I want this, I want this. <laughs> yeah, your kids would love to buy some stuff at the gift so, shop. It's right off I-35 just south of Georgetown. Yes.